Is Gumroad the right platform for you? If you've been thinking about selling digital products online, you likely heard about Gumroad. Gumroad is an e-commerce platform that will allow you to list and sell your digital products, capture payments for them, and even though it's very user-friendly, it has also some downsides. In this video, I'm gonna show you how you can sign up for Gumroad, how you can list a digital product on Gumroad. I'm gonna talk about the dashboard, the features, and last but not least important, I'm gonna talk about the fees. So if you consider Gumroad for selling your digital products, you may want to see this video. Creating a Gumroad account is a very straightforward process. A lot of people are using Gumroad because it is beginner friendly. So landing on their page here on gumroad.com, you're gonna have a preview of their marketplace here. But on top, on this bar, you're gonna have the login button and the start selling button. So if you don't have an account on Gumroad, you're gonna to wanna to click on start selling, and then you're gonna be presented with this page where you can register with all this account. So if you have a Facebook account, if you have a Google account, X, Stripe, whatever account you want, you can just click it and connect through that and create a Gumroad store. But for this example, I am going to just insert my email in here and I'm going to create a new Gumroad account with that email. So I'm just going to click create account. And this is Gumroad's dashboard. If you've registered with an email like I just did, go ahead and check that email because you're gonna get the confirmation email. Go ahead and confirm this account. And next we're gonna go to settings. This is our first stop. In here you're gonna have your email. Underneath you're gonna have notification settings. Make sure to turn on and off the notifications you want to receive. You can have installed the Gumroad app and get notifications on your phone if you want. And underneath you're gonna have the support email. This is the email where your customers can reach you for support on the products that you are selling. Make sure to add a support email in here. If you don't have one yet, you can use your personal email, but you might benefit from having a dedicated support email. Then you're gonna have the local settings. This is the time zone that you are in. You want to go and select the time zone you are in. And then the currency that you are selling in, you can select it from here. Underneath here, we have a setting to charge different prices in different places in the world. If you're selling your products all over the world, you might want to have different pricing depending on the cost of living in that area of the world. If you notice, YouTube, for example, is charging one price in India and one price in, in the US. You can do the same thing by adjusting the settings in here. And then if you're selling adult content, you might want to have this turned on or off. Next in the profile tab, we will be able to customize our store. It's a limited customization. We don't have many options, but the, the options that we have are in here. I'm going to first adjust the name of my store and see if that is available and it is, then I'm going to add the name. So after adding the username, which resulted also in updating the URL of the store in shopioso.gumroad.com, I've added my name also in there, Shopioso, and I'm gonna add a bio. And everything that I'm changing on this side is reflecting automatically on that side. So this is like a live preview we have here. Then underneath, we're gonna be able to add a logo. If you have a logo of your store, you're gonna just remove this placeholder and you're gonna click on upload and then you're gonna navigate to your logo obviously. After uploading your logo is going to just show in there and it is also showing on your preview there. So if you have an X account and you want to connect it, you can do it right now. You can then adjust the fonts you want to use on your store. So you just can click it and the fonts will automatically update whichever you like, you can go with them. I'm just going to stick with this one over here. And down below, you will be able to change the background of your store. You can make it dark or white or red or whatever color you want. And then you're gonna be able to change the highlight color, which in my case would be a green, maybe something like this. You cannot preview it here as there are no elements that have a highlight color yet. So I'm going to update settings now and I'm going to preview the result. After the changes were saved, you can click on this button here and you're gonna be redirected to your landing page. And in my case, this is how it looks at the moment. This is the highlight color I was talking about and this is the information I just added. I'm gonna head back to the dashboard and I'm gonna go to the next tab, which is team. In here, you can add members on your Gumroad store. You can add roles to them, accountant, admin, marketing, support, depending on what you need help with. 
Then we have payments. And in here, you're gonna be required to include some information. So you're gonna have to select the country you are in and add proof that you are a resident of that country. And once you've submitted your information, you're gonna see here that you are verified and you can start selling on Gumroad. Then underneath, you're gonna have the payout schedule. This is depending on your business. You can get your money weekly, monthly, quarterly and you can set your payout threshold because this will happen automatically. If you want to get payments sent to you once you reach $10, this is the setting for it. But because payouts have fees, you may want to set a higher target. So for example, have a payment sent to you every time you hit $500 or something like that. If for some reason you don't want to get payments anymore, you can pause them and they will be resumed whenever you choose. Underneath here, you're gonna have the methods for your payouts. And I recommend using the bank account method because it has less fees. PayPal has some high fees. And depending where you are in the world, you might have here Stripe or other payment methods that they offer. In my case, I just have bank account and PayPal. And underneath, you're gonna be able to add the information and connect your bank account or your PayPal account. Next on the password tab, you're gonna be able to change the password of your Gumroad account. On the third party analytics tab, you're gonna be able to connect your Facebook pixel, your Google pixel, and add custom JavaScript if you want to. Then inside the advanced tab, you're gonna be able to add your custom domain. You can purchase a custom domain and connect it to your Gumroad road store and it's going to replace this domain right here so shopiosogumroad.com it can be shopioso.com or whatever you want it then you're going to have a bunch of other advanced settings like mass blocking emails and connecting custom applications and deleting your gumroad store altogether now let's go and let's create our first product in order to create a product you're going to go to products and you're gonna click this button here, create new product. In here, you're gonna be able to select the type of product that you want to sell. It can be a course or a tutorial, an ebook, a membership, a bundle. You have even some services in here. If it's a custom project you want to charge someone for, you can do that by using this. If it's a call, if you want to charge for calls, you can use this one over here. In my case, it's a digital product and I'm just gonna leave it like that. And I'm going to add here a title and I'm gonna scroll down and I'm gonna add the price. The price for my product is $49. And obviously you can change the currency over here, but in my case, I'm gonna leave it in dollars and I'm going to click on next, customize. And I'm gonna be sent on this page here where I have again the title, I have the description you will have to add a description in there. I'm going to paste my description in here. And as you can see, it populated on this side as well. So you have a live view of it. Once that's done, I'm going to scroll down and I'm going to add in here a slug for my URL. I'm just gonna copy the title and I'm gonna use it as a slug. And it's going to be transformed like that, either connected or I'm gonna separate it with these lines so that it can be easily read. And then if you have a custom domain, you can add it in here. Then underneath, you will be able to add a cover and you have here the size for that cover. If you have a Canva account, you can easily create an image with these dimensions and it's going to populate over here. I'm gonna just upload mine and you can see the difference. So I'm gonna go and upload from my computer and I'm going to open that and it's going to update in there. So once you have that populated, the page gonna look something like this. You can also upload a thumbnail. It should be a square image of 600 by 600 pixels. If you don't do it, it's going to display like this. It's a part of your cover image, but I would suggest you upload an image. Then underneath we can go and we can change the call to action message. It can say, I want this, buy this, pay. I'm just gonna go with, I want this. Then you can add a summary, you can add additional details. And you have some integration options here like community chat or a Discord server if you have, you can connect those. Then we have the pricing and we already said that, but if you want to allow the customers to pay what they want, you can do that by toggling this on. So the minimum amount now will be 49 and the suggested amount can be whatever you wanted to say. So in this case, the customers can pay more than 49 if they choose so. You can offer installments if you want to by toggling this on. Then underneath you can add variants if your product has variants. 
you can add them from here you can add their details separately and then your variants will be available for purchasing we can offer limit product sales so if you just want to sell 100 of a certain product you can do that from here if you want to allow customers to choose a quantity you can toggle this on and a quantity field will show on the page you can show publicly how many products have been sold this will also show here you can mark the product as an e-publication for VAT purposes if you're in Europe you might know something about that and you can also specify a refund policy for this particular product but I'm not going to use this so I'm going to turn them off and I'm going to save and continue now if you noticed we've been sent from the product tab to the content tab and on the content tab we actually want to attach the digital products that we want to give to the customer after they bought it from us and in here you can go ahead and add a message for them like thank you for purchasing my product hope you enjoy it whatever you think that fits best and then you can go ahead and add files by clicking this upload button here and you can go ahead and upload from your computer if you have the files on your computer go ahead and select the product in my case I have a zip file and I'm going to open that if you have multiple files you can upload them here you can add multiple text messages and instructions whatever is needed for the customer to enjoy his product in my case everything is included in this zip file but you can actually add a tutorial videos text whatever you need in here and whenever you're done you can just save changes and even go and publish and continue now that we've done that the product is live and published we can go ahead and preview it by clicking on this button and if we want to unpublish it for now we can do it from here I'm just gonna go and I'm going to preview it and this is my product page I have here the title I have my description and the pricing the name of the store and here we have a wishlist button customers can click it and add this product to their wishlist for later if I go ahead and I click on I want this I'm gonna be sent to the checkout page where I can actually buy it so I've created a gumroad store and I've added one product to it this is my home page at the moment but that product is not featured on my home page yet in order to do that you can go ahead and add sections like this you click on this button and you're gonna have a list of sections that you can add and I'm gonna add products and this is how you actually customize your Gumroad homepage you're gonna add sections like this and you are going to organize them by clicking this arrow so if you want the rich text underneath if you want the rich text on top this is limiting but it gives you the basic tools to customize your Gumroad homepage so after creating your product you're gonna see it listed in here you're gonna have here also the option to allow other people to advertise your product for you you can create here an affiliate program for them they can apply and you can allow them to advertise your products then if you go to the next button we have collaborations here you can collaborate with other Gumroad creators that can expose you and your products to their network this is a great way of growing your audience then underneath the products button we have collaborators that means that you can add people on your Gumroad store in order for them to help you create your products and that means that they will get a percentage from the sales and you can add them from here then you're gonna have the settings for your checkout inside the checkout tab you're gonna be able to create discounts and you're gonna be able to work on your checkout form and you can add different settings in there different custom fields you can add a discount field on your checkout then you can add a section with other recommended products and you have a bunch of settings for that and you can allow people to give you a tip if your business allows that once you've done your changes you're going to go ahead and save then underneath you're going to have the email tabs and i'm not sure why they've separate these because they kind of work together so this is the email tab where you're going to be able to create newsletters or different type of emails you want to send to your followers here you're going to find the emails that you've already sent here are the scheduled emails that are about to be sent here you're going to find the drafts and here you're going to find your subscribers or your email list and this is the great thing about gumroad it gives you access to your email list you can even download it from here 
And as I said earlier, we have here workflows and this have to do also with emails. In here you can create automated email flows and that means that you can send different type of emails whenever customers take a certain action. Then underneath you're gonna have sales. Here you're gonna have all your numbers like sales, views and the total amount that you've earned. You're gonna select the time period, the product you're interested in and then you're gonna be able to visualize everything in here. And down under you're gonna have the payouts. Here you're gonna have a list of payouts that you've got from the store. Again, if you want to edit settings, you can go to settings here and you're gonna be able to add your bank account, your PayPal, and set the interval you want to get your money at. Going down here, we have the discover button. This is the marketplace, the Gumroad marketplace. So in order to have your product listed, you're gonna to have to be eligible for that. You have a bunch of rules. You can look that up on this article. I'm gonna link it in the description. And in library, you're gonna find the products that you've purchased from other creators. You can also see here the products that you've saved. You can see the people you're following and the reviews that you've left. And that's kind of it. This is Gumroad in a nutshell. So what are the benefits? With this platform, you can sell digital products without having to pay upfront. This is the first and most important benefit. You don't have to pay anything to start selling with Gumroad. The second benefit is that on Gumroad, you don't need apps. On other platforms like Shopify, for example, if you want to gather emails, you're gonna need an app. If you want to send a digital product to your customer after they buy it, you're gonna need an app. For anything related to the selling process, you most likely will need an app. And Gumroad is very easy to set up. This is one of the things that people love about it because it's very useful user-friendly and very intuitive. It's easy and fast and you can get a store in minutes. Some people consider the Discover Marketplace also as an advantage, but in my point of view, the marketplace is very small and you might not get as many sales as you think out of it. So I would not say it's an advantage. It's good to have but not something that will change your business. And now what are the disadvantages of using Gumroad? And the first that comes to mind is high fees. So Gumroad will charge you 10% plus 50 cents for any sale you have. So if you have a blog post online, that features one of your products and a customer goes and buys your product, Gumroad will automatically take 10% plus 50 cents. On top of that, you're gonna have 2.9% plus 30 cents. This is the credit card fee. And if the sale is coming from the Discover Marketplace, it's gonna be 30% plus this 2.9%. In my opinion, the fees are kind of high. There are other platforms out there that offer better deals. The next disadvantage is that you cannot actually customize the store. This is all you get. This is how it looks like and it cannot be changed. I'm gonna go now to the marketplace and I'm going to open a different store so that you can see that it looks exactly the same. So I'm gonna click on this random product. I'm gonna open that up. So this is the product page when it gets populated. You're gonna have this bar at the top, then you're gonna have the details in here. You're gonna have the price, the name of the store, reviews, and on this side, you're gonna have the reviews going like that. It's nice, but you cannot go and customize any of these other than the colors and the font options that they give you. That's everything that you will be able to customize. And even though this will take the design work out of the equation, I would like to have the option to customize my storefront more. So these are the main complaints I have when it comes to Gumroad high fees and limited design options. So what do you think? Are you intrigued? Will you try Gumroad? If you're still on the fence, you may want to see this video next where I talk about the top five platforms you can sell digital products on. Click it and I'll see you there.